In addition to his previous buffs, which you can check out here if you happen to miss it, I'll also have it linked in the description, Zhongli will be getting a further buff, and a massive one at that. And this will pretty much secure him as a any team sort of hero, which from my very long history of playing games like this is a big deal. So basically, in addition to all the previous changes, when you hold his E now and get that shield, any characters within a certain radius of this shield will have their physical and elemental resistance reduced by 20%. From the little example I'll be showing on screen here, it seems to have a pretty big radius, at least this much from where that Hillichurl uh, finish his axe swing. So obviously any melee characters, you know, you switch out to and they still have the shield here are going to benefit from this. And I'd say even a lot of ranged characters like Klee, uh, Klee should be well within range of that as well, and characters like Mona, maybe if you're running like a main DPS bow user like, you know, Fischl or whatever, it might not work as well, but for the vast majority of characters, the enemies will get this debuff. And this debuff is equivalent to, I would say, it's a little bit less effective than, for example, a four-piece Viridescent. But a four-piece Viridescent is a little bit harder to pull off. And then it's only elemental resistance of the element infused with the swirl, so it's a lot less, like, versatile. You know, with this somewhat seemingly random add-on to Zhongli's buffs here, he's basically a walking Viridescent where you don't even need to think about what you're doing. You know, you walk up, make sure you have... A shield and boom they, they, they just have 20% less physical and elemental resistance in my opinion this is a massive massive buff and like I was already completely satisfied with the buffs he was already getting you know maybe some people think differently and maybe they thought you know it wasn't enough you know give him more buffs but this is kind of I don't know I'm obviously pretty happy about it since I have Zhongli but like damn that's a pretty massive buff and then of course if you do have him at a higher constellation where you know your entire party gets those shields then yeah, your entire, you know, co-op team is going to benefit from that resistance wherever they are. And yeah, they apparently did this just to make him more versatile, and boy did they. You can have Zhongli in literally any team now, because he is just like another damage amp, you know, like sort of Binet. Binet can also be in any party because of his ult, which just gives, you know, your team more attack power. But yeah, there's really not much else to say. Let's, let's end this with a big dong move. Very excellent. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think about this buff in the comments down below. I'm curious to see how many people also think this is a massive buff or if I'm maybe being a little bit dramatic about it. But yeah, I mean, just the fact he's going to be like so much more versatile now, you know, you can have him in any team. I mean, before you could have him in any team as well, but now he's actually going to provide a lot more to your team's damage, which he didn't really do before. And considering Abyss is the current in-game content, damage is very, very important to get through those floors in a timely manner. But yeah, that'll do it. Any thoughts, drop them in the comments down below. Leaving a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.